Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about what changed in the last version of v deploy which was 1.4.0. We released two things, remote server monitoring and remote server logs. So let's go into it. The first one was the server logs, uh, the remote logs, uh, which was a community contribution. And it's, it's very simple and easy, not easy, it's very simple and very useful uh, feature. So imagine you have some logs in your servers and uh, you want to always monitor them and just watch them through V2 and not just SSH and check the stuff. So you just add the path here, let's say add one uh, slash var, var, var log and nginx and error dot log which uh, probably I made a typo here um, or maybe it's empty, who knows. Let's check this access log. Yeah, so the error one was empty. And yeah, you, it returns the uh, 50 last line if I'm not mistaken and you can always check them here. Which is pretty useful one. The next one was uh, the remote server, the remote log, remote monitor. <laughs> yeah, so this one is actually also nice. So uh, one one release before we released this uh, Vito agent, so you can monitor your servers, but it wasn't really helpful for the people using Vito deploy on their local machines. So V2 agent requires your uh, V2 deploy agent, V2 deploy server to be live in the internet so it can send the statistics to it through internet. But uh, since not everybody using it as a separate server because it might be a bit costly, so uh, some people rather use it in their local machine uh, via Docker or something like that. That's the reason uh, we introduced this remote monitor. So uh, we to deploy the, the instance itself here will check your servers every minute. So um, it will check, it will it will SSH to your server, check whatever is happening there in terms of, you know, um, CB load, memory and disk usage and stores it in the metrics table and show it to you. So I already installed this here. Uh, keep in mind that you can have only one of these two services. Um, at the same time, if you, if you go and install, it will give you an error saying that you already have a monitoring service. So this one I already installed and checks your server uh, monitoring, which is here in a nice way. Uh, you can filter by time, yeah and it will give you um, a usage on your server like this one yeah that was pretty much from the big features really there was also a few bugs but you can check the link here and uh, see the full change log until the next release see you